reaction to the verdict? Do you think you were going to get jail time? No comment? My comment is to got me to Tracy Hunter's only words after she was sentenced to six months behind bars. And good evening. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Cherie Palello. The convicted juvenile judge is at home, but could be in jail in about three weeks. Now, Hunter was sentenced to six months for interfering in the firing of her brother. After those six months, she'll be on probation. Judge Norbert Nadel went on to explain his reasoning today. Well, the double whammy, the dilemma of the double whammy, whammy hanging over her head. She's a judge and a public official. So Hunter's attorney, Clyde Bennett, has already filed a stay on the sentencing while they appeal the decision. Judge Nadel will rule on that early next week. Bennett said that Hunter is not afraid of jail and that she's a woman of faith. Quote, she trusts God, she does not trust men. Tracy Hunter did not do any interviews after today's sentencing, but she did speak with us in November of 2013 as her case was starting to come to a boil. WLWT News 5's Jackie Congedo joining us now with a conversation that gives us plenty of insight. Jackie. Mike, Tracy Hunter, as you mentioned, did not have much to say after today's sentencing, but she spoke very candidly in a rare television interview last year about the trials she faced and what keeps her strong through it all. This has been, both spiritually and naturally, a type of sanctuary for me because in the midst of all of the hate that is unleashed against me on a daily basis, uh, much, most of it without cause, this is the place where I find peace. This was Tracy Hunter in November of last year in an interview at the West Side Church where she pastors. Long before the case against her went to court, she spoke clearly and simply about how she saw her judgeship. I went to juvenile court with one goal in mind uh, that's to be the best judge that I could possibly be by doing right by all people. Hunter took the office after a two year court battle over uncounted votes, and she didn't mince words about what she called unfair scrutiny that she's faced since then, saying instead that the problems in juvenile court were institutional. The criminal uh, uh, investigation that they're doing. And again, I'm at the point to say, go ahead and, and, and indict me, and you know, the whole juvenile court will just be on trial because I've just discovered so much since I've been there. Um, and I think that that's part of the fear. At the time, a criminal investigation was underway, one that led to nine charges, a conviction on one, and a six month jail sentence. But in November of 2013, that was all an if. You know, if they indict me, then I put that in God's hands. And I say, God, I know you will vindicate me because you know I didn't do anything wrong. And you know the things that they're accusing me of, you know that I did not do. But if that's what it's going to take for you to get the glory, then so be it. And that's literally what I believe. Today, the judge asked Hunter directly if she wanted to say anything to the court, and she shook her head no. Reporting live downtown tonight, Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5. Right now, Hunter's scheduled to report to jail on the 29th, but she has asked the judge to postpone her sentence while she appeals the case. Judge Nadel will rule about that next week.